So how do you solve these super hard division problems on the SAT within 10 seconds? Let me show you guys how to do it real quick. So whenever people see this problem, they get really scared and they don't know how to solve this problem. So they just do random stuff and they end up getting the problem wrong. There's a really fast way to solve this problem. So this can be simplified to one of these. Now the question is, which one is the answer? So to solve this type of problem, I'm basically finding the equivalent expression, right? This will be simplified to one of these. So these, this is either the equivalent expression of this, 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 or that. So equivalent expression means no matter what the x value is, the resulting value will be the same, right? So if two expressions are equivalent, say a is equal to b, expression a is equal to expression b. If I put in zero into here and zero into here, if I get one out, I should get one out over here as well, because that's what equivalent expressions are. So with that in mind, this bad erasing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in x equals zero into here, right? Because always start off with x equals zero. So x equals zero first. Okay. So that's zero, zero, twenty, zero is five. So twenty divided by five equals four. Okay. So if I plug in zero, the out is four. So let me plug in x equals zero into these. If I plug in zero, I got one. That's gone. If I plug in zero, I get negative five. If I plug in zero, I get four. If I plug in zero, I get four. So these two check out, right? So now let's plug in x equals one, since there's two choices left. Sometimes there's only one choice left. You have your answer and you're done. Let's try x equals one. If I plug in x equals one, I get one plus nine, which is 10, plus 20, which is 30, divided by one plus five, which is six. So it's equal to five. So now I'll plug in one into these two and see which one gives me five. One plus four is five, so this works. One minus two is negative one squared, which is one, so that does not work. So C is the answer by process of elimination. And you can keep going to X equals two, X equals three, until you only have one choice left, and all you have to do is select that choice as your answer, and you can move on. That's it, that's how you solve these super hard division problems. You do not need to learn long division for the SAT. You can just do this, and you're done. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out, dude, peace out, dude. Peace.